Hello everyone, how is it going? My name is Cyrus and welcome to my channel. So, I've asked you guys who should I go uh, do next uh, between Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, both or somebody else and I've got the most vote for Eddie Murphy. So, I'm going to start with Eddie Murphy and possibly in the next week or the week after I'll jump on to Richard Pryor. I'm going to do both but I want to see exactly which one should I do first. So, Eddie Murphy came on top. So, without any delays, Let's get to Eddie Murphy, men and women. Here we go. You know, because I'm used to American women saying, you don't own me. Hey, baby, where you going? <laughs> Excuse me? I said, where you going? You don't own me. <laughs> you my woman, ain't you? I don't see no rings on these fingers. <laughs> Are you going to put a ring on this finger? Well, I will, I will, I will. Well, then you don't owe me in, okay? First of all, let me tell you, I don't give a fuck who you are or what you have, okay? You got a whole lot of nerve to come and ask me where I'm going. I come and go as I please. I don't answer my father. I ain't going to answer no man either. Ain't no man going to tell me where I can go. I come and go. You got a whole lot of motherfuckers. Who the hell do you think you are anyway? Well, come and ask me where I'm going. Nobody owns me. I own myself. I'm my own person. <laughs> and we hear all that shit? Okay. <laughs> Well, where you gonna be? I'ma be where I'm at. <laughs> you don't own me. You got to be careful. You got to have a J-O-B in the 80s. You got to have some money. You got to have some money. You can't get no pussy. Listen to the radio. That's what it's about. Listen to Madonna. I'm a material girl in a material world. You ain't got no money. You can't have no pussy. <laughs> Basically what it is. There's a song out now called Got to Have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. That's true. And the lyrics go, ain't nothing going on but the rent. <laughs> like if you went up and said, hey, babe, what's going on? The rent, motherfucker. <laughs> Do you have a job? Well, I will, I will, I will. Then get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> got to have some money. It says no romance without finance. And women love them songs. They be going, got to have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Jackson got a hit record. What have you done for me lately? Oh, That's what they be thinking. What have you done for me lately? The record start off like that. I know he used to do shit for you, but what has he done for you lately? <laughs> Baby, That's I love so good. you. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> you the only thing on my mind. What have you done for me lately? What? We make good love. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> they can figure us out. Guys, don't get trapped. We call them pussy traps. Let's call them pussy traps. It's a trap. They trap you with the pussy. They catch you with the pussy. That's what they do to you. It's a trap. The most common trap is to not give you any, though. Don't think like, maybe, you know, you're going to put a trap on. The most common is when you ain't getting any at all. That's the trap. When you meet a woman and everything is perfect and she won't do anything, it's a trap. Sometimes it backfires because a lot of women play these games with sex. And ladies like sex just as much as we do, guys. But they act like they don't. But they do. It's not a woman. That's There's true. not a woman in this room right now who wouldn't rather be somewhere else with a nice stiff one in them. Don't you let them <laughs> fool you. <laughs> they like it just as much as The lady sitting there going, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny, but he's not that funny. <laughs> I'll take a dick over a smile in a day. Yes, I will. They like it just as much as us, but they play these games. So you know where it backfires on you ladies? When you go meet a guy and he wants you, you want him, and you like each other, and everything is perfect, but you won't do anything. He said, baby, let's go. You say, no, I'm not going to do it. And after that, he don't like you no more. <laughs> but he still wants to fuck you. So he waits. He be like, okay, I'll wait. Good night. And you wait. You wait three months. Yeah. <laughs> and then you finally get it, and she's like this, I'm yours. And you go, fuck, fuck you, you, bitch. <laughs> I see! <laughs> fuck you and your pussy. Get the fuck out of my face. Three months? I'll tell you why. Ah, oh. Prostitutes cheaply. <laughs> oh man, fool around. Look at the lady. Wow. There's men fool around because of this. And look at all the women in the audience right now looking up here like this. <laughs> tell us. We fool around because we figured women out. We did. See, a lot of you ladies going, what does he mean he figured it out? And dumb niggas going, yeah, what do you mean we figured it out? 
We figured you out in this sense, and this is true. And anybody's ever done this, anybody will agree. Any time anybody's ever done this will agree what I'm gonna say. Any woman that's ever had this done to her will agree what I'm gonna say. And those of you who've never done this will sit there and go, I disagree. But once you make a woman come real hard, once you make a woman say, ooh, <laughs> no matter how bad you fuck up, no matter what you do wrong, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, as long as you say, I'm sorry, she will listen to your story. And that's the truth. That's the God's honest truth. Satisfy the bitch. the truth. Stop it. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. And ladies, as soon as we y'all make that noise, a man, your relationship will change with your man because we know. We wait on that noise. We've been waiting on it. Because we know we can act different. As soon as you go, ooh, we know we can act a fool in. <laughs> Remember when your man couldn't make it, he would call? No more of that shit. He heard you go, whoo, whoo. Remember you want to spend all this free time with you? No more of that. Because you made that noise. Your man can act crazy. We know. As soon as you go, whoo, whoo, I face in the pillow like this. I got this motherfucker now. <laughs> and then you start talking to us. Whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this? Oh, your pussy. Your pussy. Oh, whoo, whoo. <laughs> and your relationship changes from that moment. Woman be sitting on the bed, her legs shaking, go, oh my god, oh, I can't believe it, oh, I never came like that before, oh my god, I can't believe it. And then man get real cold on you, say some shit like, why don't you shake your ass home? <laughs> <laughs> Why you do, what are you talking about? Why are you treating me like this? We have a relationship. You don't own me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good callback. You don't own me. <laughs> what do you mean I don't own you? We have a relationship. I thought that we go together. I don't see no rings on your finger. You're <laughs> worst. But I love you. Well, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> All those comebacks, man. Oh, it's brilliant. It's genius. And don't you think for two seconds that if you keep breaking this woman's heart and keep fucking her over, your sweet, innocent, little sweet, loving, darling woman, she eventually will go out and fuck someone else. Don't think she won't. Don't think she won't. Look, all the men's faces, they like this now. <laughs> Men don't like to picture their woman fucking nobody. A, that's taboo. Like, watch the guys' faces. Ladies, look at them. Guys, picture your woman fucking your best friend. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> hey, your woman is like this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, be careful. And women ain't like us. It's not their nature to fool around. And it's that like we'll go out and sneak out to the hotel and, and have to wash your dick in the sink and all that shit. Women, <laughs> women gonna do it classy. They don't fuck around like us. They're gonna do it classy. It's like, hey, I don't do this often. I'm gonna do it right. You know when your woman's gonna fool around? When you keep messing her over, then eventually she says some shit like this. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna go to the Bahamas by myself for the weekend. <laughs> She's up to something. <laughs> and you say, you want me to go with you? You go, no, just me and my girlfriends are going. That's it. The girlfriend's there. It's me and my friend. And we so stupid, we start thinking about all the pussy we can get while she's gone. <laughs> you gonna go by yourself? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Crying and all of a sudden a dude named Dexter walks up. <laughs> Dexter St. <Saint> Jock. <laughs> he walk up swinging his dick. <laughs> I think I'm missing a part of this. Then he do that smooth Bahamas shit on your woman. What a beautiful girl like you doing by yourself on the island alone. All right, when they were holidays. This is the island for lovers. You should be being held right now. Girl, what you crying about? I'm having some problems with my boyfriend, so I came down here to think it over. But tell me what hotel that your man staying in me. Go over there and tell him that you treat a woman like you're like a princess. If you are my woman, I make love to you constantly. <laughs> What hotel this man staying in? Well, he's back in New York. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, girl. Won't you come back around my place? We sit down and talk it over. <laughs> well, all we're going to do is talk? Yeah. <laughs> Take your woman to his house and roll one of them big ass Bahama joints. Shit this big and shit. Put some of that Bob Molly music on. 
Now, y'all know Bob be preaching and issues. Don't let him fool you. Oh, no. Na, 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 na. Or even try to school you. Oh, yeah. Could this be love? Then be love. Dick swinging. <laughs> Next thing you know, Dexter is fucking your woman. Well. <laughs> Send your woman home, floating on air. Walk through the door like this. I shot the sheriff. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is good, man. And we so stupid, we think it was the weather. We be going, hey, baby, you need to get away more often. <laughs> and she be like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, that was Eddie Murphy about men and women. Uh, and the thing is, actually, I've watched this clip. I remember bits and pieces of it. I remember the, what do you call it, uh, Bahamas bit. I remember, I don't know where I watched it, but I watched it a long time ago. I haven't seen too much of Eddie Murphy's comedy. That's why I was so much looking forward to it. I know he's considered to be one of the goats alongside, uh, what do you call it, Richard Pryor. That's why I did the poll. And so that's, thank you guys for all the votes. Keep an eye on it. I will continue to update the polls regularly. So that way I can do exactly what you guys want to see. Also, the whole bit, everything from beginning to the end was masterful. I loved every second of it. And the whole bit makes sense. You need to have a good job. You need to satisfy your man, a woman. And if you fuck around too much, she's going to leave you for somebody else. So, you know what I mean? All of these things are absolute brilliant. Bang on. He's very, very good with it. And I absolutely loved it, man. I'm so much looking forward to doing more Eddie Murphy. So you guys should keep an eye on that. So meanwhile, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because I need your help to get to a thousand. And I'll see you guys next time.